This week was packed with Redfall backlash, PlayStation Plus announcements, and some major hype over the new looks at Tears of the Kingdom and Final Fantasy 16. So let's recap. On Wednesday, April 12th, Redfall developer Arcane Austin confirmed the upcoming vampire hunting adventure will launch with quality mode only on Xbox Series X and S. This means that the game will be hard locked at 30 frames per second as a high resolution is prioritized, 4K on Xbox Series X and 1440p on Series S. The dev went on to reveal that the game will receive a performance mode option in a later update, but unfortunately a release window was not given. The news caused huge discussions all across the web that ranged from civil conversations to toxic behavior and console war bait. But regardless of which threads you pay attention to, the major takeaway is that performance mode is generally favored amongst gamers, especially for fast-paced shooters. This is echoed in a poll from Jeff Grubb as well as the comment section to a GameSpot News episode in which I asked about quality versus performance before this news was even revealed. At this point in the life cycle of the series consoles, 60 frames per second feels like the new standard. Is 30 frames the end of the world? No. Is it going to make a fun game boring? No. However, it is a bummer to know that you own what is marketed as the most powerful console, yet you're locked at last gen frame rate for the time being on a major first party AAA release. But it's important to keep in mind that game dev is complicated, and the scope of the sandbox that Redfall takes place in could be one of the reasons why resolution is being favored over frame rate. In a previous interview, creative director Harvey Smith also mentioned that the game was developed under COVID-19 pandemic pandemic challenges and frequent power outages. If you've had your eye on Redfall, hit the comment section and let me know if you're still interested or if all the updates have killed your enthusiasm. For those of you that only have a PlayStation, you aren't going to play Redfall anyway. So what can you play? This week, Sony announced the addition of 16 games to its PlayStation Plus game catalog. Headlining the new selection for PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium subscribers is Kena Bridge of Spirits, 2022's delightful action adventure in which you take on shaman duties and grow a small tribe of adorable creatures to help you solve puzzles. But if you'd prefer something less wholesome and more unrelentingly violent, then Doom Eternal should quench your bloodlust. The follow-up to 2016's Doom reboot, Doom Eternal dials up the action, carnage, and chainsaws to absurd levels as you battle against the forces of hell. Also, before we switch gears, shout out to Mighty Doom. All right, I know it's a mobile game and it has a lot of microtransactions and mobile trappings, but I don't know. It, it's a good time. Like, it's a good time waster. Um, check it out if you haven't. But okay, you can face even more demonic threats in Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus as you guide BJ Blazkowicz on a mission to evict Nazis from the US of A. There's also Slay the Spire, which helped kickstart a whole new genre of roguelike deck building games, Ubisoft's live service extreme sports action game, Riders Republic, and Tango Gameworks' classic survival horror game, The Evil Within. For more relaxing pursuits, you'll be able to download and play Bassmaster Fishing, Paradise Ice Killer, and the charming Sackboy A Big Adventure this month. All these games are coming to the service on April 18th. And now for your weekend homework. You gotta watch the new trailer for Tears of the Kingdom, as well as the gameplay from Final Fantasy 16. Even if you're not interested in these games, you're gonna wanna check these videos out for a chance at passing this class. And if you've made it this far into the video, thank you. You're a real one. As you've probably noticed, GameSpot News will be moving to a weekly format, but will be getting a big revamp as it does, along with a completely new slate of programming that our team is hard at work on. Based on what I've seen, you should be really hyped for what's to come. But for now, thanks for watching this iteration of GameSpot News, and I'll see you again soon.